I'm kidding. Uh, well, thank all of you for coming out. Give yourselves a round of applause for giving a shit. How about that? This is what matters, people standing up for the truth. But as Kevin started to get to, I want to talk about my other talking head media personalities. If you aren't going to stand up for this, what the hell are you going to stand up for? If you aren't going to stand up for freedom of press, freedom of speech, stand up for your own goddamn job then. How about that? Because that's what this is about. This is about freedom of speech. It's about freedom of press. It is. This is nothing new. Publishing leaked documents. Look at the Pentagon Papers. Like Washington Post. Bring Julian home. 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 The truth, free Assad. Don't shoot the messenger. Free the truth, free Assad. Don't shoot the messenger. Free the truth, free Assad. Don't shoot the messenger. Free the truth, free Assad. Don't shoot the messenger. Free the truth. Bring Julian A spokeswoman for Free Assange New Zealand and Unity 4J, Alex Hills, says the WikiLeaks founder should have been put in an ambulance when he came out of the Ecuadorian embassy. More than 2,000 people signed a petition last year calling for his asylum and guaranteed safe passage from the UK to New Zealand. The Foreign Affairs Defence and Trade Select Committee said it believed it had no jurisdiction in the matter. Ms Hill said they couldn't find an MP to support a discussion of it. Not a single person would stand up for UN resolution which suggests that he should be freed and comp compensated immediately. I mean, no one would stand up for human rights and I found it at atrocious. Alex Hill says New Zealand has a lot to be proud of in terms of the number of people who helped the international campaign to free us out. We are live outside the embassy of the United States. We're in Wellington and there are emergency actions planned all over the world. 25 cities, 11 countries. Protect Julian! Julian! <laughs> I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna run him into the ground, just like they tried to run Chelsea Manning into the ground. They have her back in prison now, you know, for the same reason. These people, it's like we have. A, we have to have a whole system change in order for folks to feel comfortable speaking out about, you know, U.S. war crimes. So we're just out here in solidarity, trying to do just that. Make sure that the Pentagon knows we're not going to shut up just because they want to scare us by trying to, you know, repress Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning. And we're demanding freedom for Julian Assange, freedom for Chelsea Manning. Oh, my name's Joe Jameson. I'm with the U.S. To bring a journalist from across the world into the United States of crimes because this is your tax money that is paying giving your consent to the people who want to cover up you.
and real journalists such as WikiLeaks. And that is why the fight to build a socialist movement to unite workers internationally must include the uncompromising defense of Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. Thank you. appears to have been facilitated by a $4.3 billion loan to Ecuador from the United States dominated International Monetary Fund on the day Assange's asylum was revoked. We need to support whistleblowers and we need to protect Julian Assange and any other platform or institution that shares what whistleblowers do. So thank you very much. Yeah. And it's really good to see people yeah. I, I cannot believe that the English people carting them out in force when they should have been delivering them with respect to an ambulance. How dare they?
outside my window a figure quickly creeps they dark as night like some motherfucking chimney sweeps whiskey what my mickey keeps dying in my kidneys weak silence of my risky tweets what the grand jury seeks i'm wanting peace like seven years in tibet not rest in peace like seven years under threat because i've released seven balls they upset they ended the right sentence but the u.s still insist to rest i guess it's a sin to take the truth and disseminate and i'll pay the condi take him and eliminate and i don't say i'm great just want to say what's fake but if they kill me a million others will take my place the cia's post like a knife the sharpest all hypocrisy lies and heartless they want to stop me my life make my heart quit because democracy dies in the darkness because democracy dies in the darkness Democracy dies in the darkness. April 17, outside the US Embassy, Auckland, New Zealand. Our little band of guys that have come down to stand outside the US Embassy. We're here at 23 Custom Street East, uh, handing out flyers, and so far getting a pretty good response, although there's still many, many people who don't really care, but they need to. They need to. Anyway, we're not going to give up. We're here. 23. <laughs> Fellow speakers, organizers, friends, I'm honored to be here. It's the first time I have seen this rather grim place. Truth and courage are behind those walls, behind those bars, personified in the great journalist and publisher Julian Assange. Ecuador está presente, se nota y se siente. Ecuador está presente, se nota y se siente. Ecuador está presente, se nota y se siente. The third award goes to Julian Assange. Julian Assange will be remembered long after many of us have faded because people will tell the story of Assange, the whistleblower, the publisher, who called and spoke out against killing and war and government policies which were destroying children and families in their home. Very happy to identify and receive the prize on behalf of Julian Assange. And I have asked that I be allowed to visit Julian Assange in Belmarsh Prison in London. Uh, and I hope that will be granted. So, Cassandra, what are you uh, doing out here? Well, Ecuadorian President Lenin Moreno, the corrupt traitor, is speaking in there um, after selling Julian Assange in, for, in exchange for IMF loans. 
So we're trying to call him out when he comes out. And uh, let's flesh that out a little bit more. Why are you kind of <laughs> upset about him? And now that Assange is out of his hands, why does he matter? Well, he still has Ola Bini, um, who was an associate of WikiLeaks about a decade ago. Um, they snatched him up, arrested him, refused to give him a translator. Um, he's still in Ecuadorian custody right now. And, um, you know, we still, I would still protest Bush or Cheney if they happened to be walking down the street. Um, so I'm still protesting his bad actions and handing Julian Assange over to the United States. So, yeah, and people got up and started shouting, shame on you, you you're Trump's bitch, that kind of thing. And so the plan is to protest him on his way out, presumably out of that parking garage? Yes. All right. Well, good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Oh.